You have to see the quilt I made with these fabrics. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, projagi, and embroidery. So months ago, I got a message from Sherry Shish from Power by Quilting. And she asked if I would be interested in making a quilt with her new um, signature fabric collection coming out from Island Boutique. So I've worked with her before and it's been great and I love Island Boutique fabrics. So I said, yes. So I got to choose what fabrics I wanted from the collection and what project I was gonna make. So when I thought about it, I thought I would do a remake of one of my old patterns called No Flies in My Garden. No Flies in My Garden is a fine quilt made with two basic blocks and it's one that looks more complicated than it is when you see it put together. And the name of the fabric line is Romance Garden. So it seemed like a perfect combination. So I looked at the uh, fabric that um, was in the collection. And so I asked her to send me a vibrant green that I was gonna use for chain blocks and then some assorted fat quarters that I could use in the other blocks and then a light neutral background for the whole piece. And so this is what she sent me. She sent me these fat quarters in blue and purple with a bit of pink. And then this is the green that I had asked for that I was kind of building it around. And for background, she sent me a solid white background. And so it turned out to be such a great combination. So if you follow me on social media, you've probably seen progress shots of this quilt because I've been sharing things as I went along and made it. But here's what it looks like. And I can't hold up the whole quilt on the video because I can't even hold up the whole quilt. It's 81 inches square and I don't have that long of a wingspan to be able to hold it up. But you can see it has these shoe fly blocks and then chain blocks that alternate to give it this overall effect. And so I love how it looks on the white background. The shoe fly blocks are made with the fat quarters, so there's lots of variety in them. And the vibrant green fabric just pops as the chains. So I can't hold up the whole piece, but this is what it looks like. And if you wanna see more pictures and close-up pictures, you can click below to the link to take you to the post. So for the quilting on it, I just quilted with straight lines, which is one of my favorite ways to finish a project. And in this one, I have vertical and horizontal lines and diagonal lines. Often I will do just one or the other, but on this one, I have both of them. And I really like how that kind of outlines these chains. So it almost looks like these blocks are on point because of the layout, but they're not on point. It's just a standard square layout. Now, the one thing I really like about this pattern is when you see it all together, it looks like it has a fancy border on it, but there's actually no border at all. The border edge is actually built into the blocks. And so that is a really nice effect. And this quilt has a big empty space in the corners. So if you wanted to, you could easily fill that in with applique or free motion quilting or embellish that in some way or you can just leave it as blank space. So this quilt as I said is 81 inches square so I actually updated that pattern no flies in my garden to include the larger size and I figured while I was at it I would also include a baby size. So the quilt pattern now has three different sizes. There's a 45 inch square, 63 by 81 inch, and 81 inch square, which is a really nice big size for a bed. I've also included um, cutting instructions for a scrappy version. So if you wanna make something like this, just using up scraps from your stash, then those instructions are all there as well. So if you're interested in getting more details about the pattern, you can click the link below to see about that. So big thanks to Sherry from Powered by Quilting and Island Boutique for letting me participate in this. This is a beautiful fabric collection and I loved working with it. And for more quilting, tutorials, patterns, and inspiration, be sure to check out ebitastudio.com.